From the classroom and into the studio and back to the classroom, this is ESL Today, broadcasting from Anne Arundel Community College in Arnold, Maryland. And now, from his studio in the basement of the Science Building, here's Kirk Palchewski. Hello again, everyone, and welcome back for another edition of ESL Today. I'm Kirk Palchewski, and on today's program, we will cover members of the family, that and much more right here on this edition of ESL Today. All right, welcome back to the program, everyone. As I said during the intro today, we're going to get into members of the family. But first, let's go to our martial arts segment with master teacher Tony Puyo. Okay, today we're going to work on two of the Manus principles out of the 12 character formula. They're going to be Dio Jun, Bung Dao. First off, Dio Jun. Dio Jun is hook and advance. And we're going to advance with the thrusting palm. Hook and advance. Bung Dao, we're going to collapse and back fist. Bung to collapse, Da to strike. Hook in advance, an inside hook in advance, a collapse and strike. One, two, three. Okay, now we're going to go into the two person exercise. It's exactly as the single person exercise, um, but now you have the feedback of your partner and uh, we can work on some of the details. All right, now we're going to show some of the common mistakes or details of the exercise and techniques. We're going to go from um, the outside hook to thrusting palm. Okay, now Sifu Brown has to do this properly. One of the big mistakes is when he does the inside hook, the elbow is in an out position. Well, if that happens, he's going to get hit. So on this inside hook, it's imperative that this elbow be tucked in and there's no avenue for escape. He keeps constant contact and it actually deflects the arm from the beginning. So there's no opportunity for me to strike. If the elbow is out, he can't control that arm. So on the inside hook, he has to tuck in the elbow. The next move is collapsing back with the dragging arm. Okay, now one of the big mistakes here is just moving the, the arm to this position. Well, his arm can still come over the top and continue on and strike. So the elbow has to go past the shoulder, even though I may not get the arm in full position, it's still enough to deflect the punch. Okay. Those are the two big mistakes that we have with this technique. Okay, now we're going to show you the exercise on the wooden dummy. Hook, thrusting palm, inside hook, straight punch, collapsing, back fist. All right, thank you, Sifu Puyo. Well, now it's time to get a check on the weather, so let's go to the local weather desk. 
All right, taking a look at the local weather today from Arnold, Maryland, we head to the campus of Anne Arundel Community College, where today the temperature is at 70 degrees. We're expecting p.m. rain with a chance of precipitation at 90 percent, winds out of the southwest at 17 miles per hour. And then on Tuesday, 48 degrees under sunny skies, chance of precipitation 0 percent, winds out of the north at 16 miles per hour. And on Wednesday, 58 degrees under partly cloudy skies and windy, chance of rain 0 percent, south-southwest winds at 24 miles per hour. And that's the local weather. Now back to you. All right, and now it's time for our health segment. So let's go to our health authority, Dr. Discretion. Hello, Dr. Discretion here. Did you know that during a sneeze, all of your bodily functions stop momentarily? This is why I would advise you never to sneeze during intimacy. This is Dr. Discretion saying live healthy and live long. All right. Well, as promised, today we are going to cover members of the family. So without wasting any more time, let's go to the classroom. Understanding and Memory Exercises Let's start by assigning names to all of the family members. Grandfather John, Grandmother Alice, Father George, Mother Edna, Son Jason, Daughter Debbie, Aunt Florence, Uncle Arthur, and Nephew Jonathan. Now here they are again in chart form. Take a good look because I'm going to ask you some questions about these family members. And here are the questions. Number one, who is John's wife? Number two, who is Jason's father? And number three, who is Debbie's mother? Five, four, three, two, one, time! Here are your answers. And that's our show for today. For all of us here at ESL Today, this is Kirk Palchewski saying thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing all of you again next time for the next episode of ESL Today. No, oh, yeah, my brother is such a jerk. You know, we went out last night and he was... Are, are we still on? Why didn't you tell me you know my brother watches the show?